All right, slightly gorgeous out there. Just slightly. Is right? that a meteorological term? <laughs> slightly, slightly gorgeous. Slightly gorgeous. I'm going to go with that. Nice, 100% today. Mm -hmm. Yes, bright sunshine. It's a little on the cool side, so of course we had jackets this morning. You could probably shed it by this afternoon, although I do think we'll have a busy northwest wind for much of the day. So, hey, 57 might feel great for you, feels good for me, but if it's a little chilly, you may need that sweatshirt as you head out, especially tonight. I think winds will start to calm down a little bit, but it's going to become on the cool side. 10 o'clock, 45 degrees. A little taste of winter, but it's all relative. It is January. The rest of the country is in the deep freeze. They're even expecting a blizzard in parts of the upper Midwest over the next day or so. Not the case here in the woodlands with 52 degrees under bright sunshine filled skies. It's 56 right now in Tomball. It's 57 in Pearland. Temps about 10 degrees cooler right now than they were at this time yesterday. On satellite, our visible satellite imagery, really hard to find a cloud. We have a few high wispy clouds zooming down right around uh, Liberty County. Points east toward Beaumont, but that's about it. You, you can see those on camera if you look very carefully right on the horizon, but they're very thin and they'll be gone within the hour. Otherwise, absolutely stunning outside. Pleasant weather through the weekend. A little patchy frost is possible tonight, but we're going to rebound back into the upper 60s for tomorrow. This is the big picture. A cold front swept through last night, and in its wake, clear skies, sunshine filled, and cooler air. Now, this front's about to pass through Florida. And some of the computer models are suggesting that north and central Florida may see some snowflakes mixed in overnight tonight. Always a story if it ever snows in Florida. The last time Tampa saw snow was in 1977. Now, that's not in the official forecast at this point, but it's not out of the realm of impossibility. That is for sure. But for our area, not the case. Future track. We're going to be cool today, then warming back up into the upper 60s by tomorrow afternoon after a frosty start to the north. Then another cold front comes in for tomorrow night, yielding upper 50s for highs on Friday. And then we're going to moderate back into the 60s to near 70 by the weekend. Of course, this weekend we've got the Houston Marathon coming up on Sunday. It'll start off at 48 degrees at 7 o'clock when the race starts, warming to 57 by the time the elite runners cross the finish line between 9 and about 9.30. And after that, about 64 degrees by 11 a.m. If you're a typical marathoner, typical runner, it will be pleasant, but arguably a little bit on the warm side if you're really pushing it for this weekend. But for spectators, it really couldn't be better. Outside chance for a shower Sunday afternoon. So highs today, 56 in Conroe, 55 in Huntsville, cooling down tonight to about 36 in Navasota, 35 degrees in Brenham, a little bit frosty here and there. To the south, no frost expected. A beautiful day in Pearland with 59 degrees, cooling down tonight to 38 degrees. Next couple of days, look at the up and down. We warm it up to 66 Thursday, back down to 58 on Friday, and then back up to the 60s Saturday and Sunday. Martin Luther King Day looks very nice on Monday with a high of 71 and 72 on Tuesday.